right so uh, so we have written we have listed all the uh, you know parameters of prototype and model okay i think we have listed all the parameters yeah so therefore now our, our aim is to find out the velocity in the model and velocity uh, discharge in the model okay so whenever there is a concept of you know viscosity then we have to use reynolds model law so therefore so according to reynolds model law according to reynolds model law so what is reynolds model law i can see that reynolds model law says that the reynolds number for prototype should be equal to reynolds number for model okay so this is our reynolds model law so let me write all those things so therefore you can write down like this so reynolds number of prototype should be equal to reynolds number of model okay so this is our reynolds model so using this we can find out the given uh, uh, the parameters velocity of model and discharge of model it's very simple so already we know right so what is this particular reynolds model so rho v so is here l So in in place of L because they have given uh, diameter, you can use D. Okay, so depending upon the problem, maybe if you talk about if they given channel, so go with L. If they given pipe, you go with diameter. All we know it. So rho V D by mu for prototype should be equal to rho V D by mu for model. Okay, so I can just list out each and every. You can just expand this. So rho p, b p, so d p by mu p is equal to rho m, uh, v m, d m by mu m. Okay. So as you can see here, so you know all the given. You can see the given uh, listed parameters. So you can just substitute all the things in the given problem. okay so we don't know this particular density of prototype and density of model okay but we know the specific gravities so if you know the specific gravities it is very simple to find out the density of prototype so how to find out the density of prototype anyone so we know that specific gravity of a uh, specific gravity of any liquid is nothing but density of any liquid by density of water okay so therefore we need to find out the density of oil that is prototype is equal to so g into density of water okay so that will be equal to g is nothing but uh, 0.9 and water is 1000 okay so this is our uh, density density of prototype okay density of prototype so similarly you can get for density of model what is specific gravity of Water into density of water. So this is specific gravity is one and it will be one. So one into thousand. So this is equal to thousand kg per meter. Okay. So this is our density of uh, density of model. That is water. Anyway, so very very simple to convert all these things. So therefore, you can simply substitute all the given parameters. So density of prototype. Is over nine hundred. Velocity of prototype. How much it is? So what is the velocity? Don't know, right? So let keep it as it is. So V P and diameter of prototype. How much it is? Diameter of prototype. One point five meter. So one point five by viscosity of prototype. That is three into. 10 power minus 3 so that is equal to so density of model 1000 into so velocity of model that we that we have to find out into diameter of model how much it is 0.15 meter so this is 0.15 meter by and viscosity of model that is you can see here so it is 0. Zero zero one. Okay, 
So you can get from this calculation part, you can get the relationship between velocity of prototype and velocity of model. Okay. So anyone tell me what is a relationship between this velocity of model and velocity of prototype? What is the answer here? Just fill in the blank. Please, anyone, please do it. So what you will get from this? Please use your calculator and get me the answer. So Vm is equal to, so how many times the Vp? Three. Right, three. So here, uh, this particular value here is, so velocity of model is equal to three times the velocity of prototype. You can see that velocity of model is more than velocity of prototype. Okay. So it's, it's obvious. Why? Because I can see that velocity of model is smaller. The diameter of model is smaller. And whereas here, velocity, the diameter of prototype is bigger. So whenever there is a less diameter, more velocity. How do you know it? Anyway, so we have got this relationship. So still we did not solve for velocity of model. Okay, it is uh, roughly three times velocity of prototype. So how to find out this velocity of prototype now? So we know that discharge of prototype is equal to area and velocity, area of prototype, velocity of prototype. Okay, so therefore from this, we can simply get the velocity of prototype is equal to discharge of prototype by area of prototype. So already we know that discharge of Prototype. What is the discharge of prototype? Yeah, yeah. So three meter cube per second. So this is three. And the area of the prototype, so pi by four dp. What is dp diameter of prototype? 1.5 meter. So from this you can get the velocity of prototype. So how much you get? Anyone? <clears throat> so what is the value you are getting? One point last six nine seven. So one point six nine seven meter per second. So once you know this last of prototype, you can simply get last of model. So if you just multiply with uh, this three, or how much you get? Hmm? <clears throat> So once you find out the velocity of model, 5.09. So 5.09, you can write 5.1 meter per second. Okay, so this they have asked in the exam, the problem. So velocity of model, that is velocity of water flowing in the uh, this particular model. Similarly, you can find out discharge in the model. Okay, so area of model, velocity of model. So area means pi by four, Diameter of model is 0 0.15 whole square and velocity of model is 5.5. So how much you get this discharge in the model? And make it fast. Zero point zero nine. So zero point zero nine meter cube per second. So if you convert into liters, so into thousand. So what you'll get uh, 10, 90. Okay, you may get around 90, right? If you multiply with 1000, yeah, 90. So this is roughly 90 liters per second. Okay, so from this we can, we have to, can, we, can under, we, can, we can easily understand that. So to design, okay, to design a prototype, okay, to design a pipe, this, this particular pipe having diameter uh, 1.5 meter to carry oil, okay, to carry oil, 
So before this particular uh, arriving this diameter 1.5 meter, uh, okay. So they have conducted one test in the laboratory, okay, with the help of small pipe having diameter 0.15 meter, okay. So with the help of the calibration value of water at 20 degree centigrade, okay. So well, so the velocity should be in the model is Vm is equal to 5.1 meter per second. And whereas the velocity should be in the prototype should be how much? 1.69, okay. So if you provide, so in simple words, so if you want to achieve good results so that it, it this particular prototype carries a discharge of three meter cube per second. So you have to adapt a diameter of uh, 1.5 meter. Okay. So this is like a reverse problem, reverse uh, way of solving the problem. So already they have conducted the test on this particular model having diameter 0 0.15 meter, velocity 5.1 meter per second, all these things. So this particular model have given good results. So this, with, the, with the help of scale ratio, we have to provide diameter of 1.5 meter so that it can, it can carry discharge of uh, three, three meter cube per second and velocity of 1.6 meter per second. Okay. Anyway, so this is the problem we have to solve like this. Okay. So let us solve some more problems regarding this Reynolds model. Huh? The problems are very simple, only how to understand the given data properly. Okay, so, so problem number two. So please try to note down the problem, okay, you can solve along with me. So water, water is flowing through water is flowing through a pipe of diameter 30 centimeter at a velocity at a velocity of 4 meter per second. Find the velocity of oil flowing in another pipe of diameter 10 centimeter. 10 centimeter. Okay. If the dynamic similarity exists between two pipes, so the viscosity the viscosities the viscosities of water and oil are 0 0.01 oils and 0 0.025 oils respectively So specific gravity of oil is 0 0.8. Okay, so this is the problem given here. Okay, so this is like a similar problem as we have discussed earlier. So you, you have to just uh, identify which one, there are two pipes actually. So you can see the problem, there are two pipes of different uh, diameters. So you have to identify which one is prototype and which one is model, okay? So by the, the given data, you can easily say which one is model and which one is prototype. So accordingly, you can just list out the given parameters 
like viscosity, specific gravity, uh, all the things, okay, with respect to prototype and model. And you can use the relationship that is this uh, the knowledge number for prototype is equal to for model, and you can get the required parameter. Okay, so just uh, so you can, I think you can solve this problem. Okay, as uh, on our own later. Okay, I'm giving this as a homework. So please solve it as a homework. It is simple problem again. Okay, so here let, let me just uh, ask you one question. So in this particular problem, uh, there are two pipes. So which pipe is the uh, prototype and which one is uh, model in this? Hmm? So in this very good. So uh, depending upon the size of the structure, you can say it's uh, that it is a model or a prototype. So here it is 30 centimeter and here it is 10 centimeter. So therefore, 30 centimeter is a prototype and this one is a model. Okay. So the corresponding uh, properties, like the corresponding properties means corresponding viscosity, uh, da, corresponding uh, dot sorry viscosity specific gravity so whatever the, the, they have you so we have to write with respect to this uh, model and prototype so this 30 centimeter pipe is a prototype so correspondingly what is flowing in this particular uh, 30 centimeter pipe water so water is flowing through a pipe of diameter 30 centimeter therefore water will be key, means water is prototype and whereas oil is model because oil is flowing pipe of 10 centimeters. So 10 centimeters is a diameter, diameter is a model, and this one is a prototype. So therefore, water will become prototype and oil will become model. Okay. So you can get you can just list out the viscosity, specific gravity, density, all these things with respect to prototype and model, and you can use the, the relationship that is this particular formula. Okay, this one, and you can solve for the given parameter. Okay, I hope you can do it. So do it uh, later. Okay. So let me go for another problem. Problem number three. Okay, so this may be even very important. Okay, so let me discuss this. Right, so. Um, so a ship. 300 meter long. Okay, so moves in moves in sea water. Okay, whose whose density is one zero three zero kg per meter. Okay, A, 1 is to 100 model of this ship is to be, is to be tested, okay, tested in a, tested in a wind tunnel. So the velocity of the velocity of air, okay, the velocity of air in the wind tunnel, the wind tunnel is thirty meter per second. And and the resistance resistance offered by air is sixteen newtons. So determine determine. Velocity of determine velocity of 
So all of you try to please note down along with me. Okay. So determine velocity of ship in sea water and also a resistance offered by sea water. Okay, so the density the density of air density of air is 1.24 kg per meter cube okay so take kinematic kinematic viscosity of kinetic viscosity of sea water kinematic viscosity of sea water and air okay sea water and air as 0 0.012 uh, 0 0.012 strokes okay and 0 0.018 strokes respect okay so this is a problem given here so in fact this particular problem has been given in our previous any semester examinations of our seniors for 10 marks Okay, right. So I hope that you have written this particular problem in your notebooks. Okay, so yeah. So let us now try to solve this problem. Very simple problem. Okay, so I will try to solve this problem. So please try to follow me and try to understand. Okay. I hope that everybody has written this in your notebook. And I request you please have a look on the problem once. Try to understand because if you understand the problem carefully, then you have solved all of, of the problem. Okay. Right. Right. So let us try to solve this problem. So this problem is very, very important. Again, I'm saying this problem is very, very important. Okay, this problem may come for your examinations. Right, so uh, our first job is to identify which one is model and which one is prototype. Okay, so here, Anyone tell me which one is model and which one is prototype? Actually, there are two categories. Okay. So there are two uh, kind, like one ship, there is one ship and there is one wind tunnel. Okay. These are two, the two kind of devices are two kind of things. Okay. So in the ship is flowing on, okay, let me write here. Okay, there are two things. One is ship and other one is wind tunnel. You can see that ship is having a length of 300 meter, okay. Uh, in which is moving in which is moving in sea water, which is moving in sea water, okay. So this ship is moving in sea water. Generally, ships will move in sea uh, in sea water only. In fact, and you can see that. Uh, uh, a one is to 100 model of this particular ship is to be tested in a wind tunnel. Okay. So wind tunnel means generally there will be air is flowing. Okay. You can see that velocity of air in the wind tunnel. So this particular wind tunnel 
where air is flowing. Okay. So now you tell me according to the given data, which one is model, which one is prototype, ship or wind tunnel? Anyone? Ship is prototype, wind tunnel is model. Yeah, very good. So ship is prototype and whereas wind tunnel is model. So why? Because you can see that one is two hundred model of this ship is to be tested. You can see that always we test in the model. Okay, we do not test for we do not test for prototype. We never do for testing for prototypes. Only we do for models only. So tested in a wind tunnel. So therefore, wind tunnel will become model. Okay, so we can say that. This is your prototype. And this is your model. Okay. So you can just now list out all the given parameters one by one. Okay. Ship and wind tunnel. So let me just um, list out one by one here. So ship. What is the length of the ship? Uh, I mean, that is prototype you can see here length of the ship that is lp is equal to 300 meter okay then uh, what is the length of the model anyone so let me write here they have given one model 1 is to 100 model 1 is to 100 model it means uh, here they have given some scale ratio. Here one is to hundred is a scale ratio. Okay, so this ship having a length of three hundred meter, that is the prototype. Okay, we have to design a model of this particular ship having scale ratio one is to hundred. Okay, so one by hundred is a scale ratio. That is, anyone tell me. In, in this one and hundred, which one refers to model and which one refers to prototype? Anyone? So one is to hundred is scale ratio. Here one refers to which and uh, hundred refers to what? One refers to model or prototype? So what is scale ratio? One is to model. model, right? So one is a model and hundred is a prototype. It means, so you can write here, length of model to length of prototype. Okay. So therefore, what is the length of model now? So the length of model is uh, already, you know, LP, that is 300. So 300 by 100, how much you get? 3 meter. So the length of wind tunnel is 3 meter, that is model, and length of ship is 300 meter. Okay. So if you design like that only, then the required uh, velocities or the force will be met for this ship. So anyway, so apart from this, and even already we know what is I mean by LR also. Okay, what is LR? Length scale ratio. It is length of model to length of, uh, so length of prototype to length of model. Okay, already we have discussed in the last classes. So LR is nothing but length scale ratio, length of P to length of model. So according to this, what is the value of this? So reverse, that is 100. Okay, anyway, whatever the case, just leave it aside. So let me write all the things again here. So LP is 300 and LM is three meter. Okay, so similarly, you can write down for density they are given. So density of sea water, that is, the Prototype density of is nothing but over 1030 kg per meter cube. Whereas density of model, that is water, sorry, air, I think they are given it right. So density of water, yeah. So it is 1.24. So 1.24 kg per meter cube. And you can see that velocity of air in the wind tunnel. It means it is model. So velocity of model is how much it is? 30 meter per second. 30 meter per second. 
and also they have given resistance offered by air is 16 newtons so air means again model so already we know it's a newton means force resistance force so f of model is 16 newtons okay and you can also see that um, anything they have given yeah yeah so take kinematic viscosities of sea water and air so kinematic viscosity so uh, we need to find out what determine the velocity of ship in sea water ship. so sea water means ship means prototype so what is this velocity of prototype we have to find out similarly again we have to find out also re determine resistance offered by sea water that is also prototype we have to find out and they are given kinematic viscosities of sea water and the air so kinematic viscosity okay that is uh, 0 0.012 strokes so i think you know how to convert strokes into the kinematic viscosity centimeter square per second okay all you know it and this one is model kinematic viscosity of model is 0 0.018 strokes okay so after identifying and writing all the given parameters okay so after identifying and uh, writing the given parameters for ship and wind tunnel that is prototype and model now we can use so if you observe here in this particular problem they did not mention any model law like nulls model law or floats model law so they didn't mention anything but according to the given data you have to select which one which which model you have to use okay so according to the given parameters they are given viscosity kinematic viscosity they have given okay they have given so once they have given kinematic viscosity means they have to use which model nulls model law very simple okay or, or else you can also use you can see ship so already have in the in the already have explained in the last in the last classes right so you can see you can also see here Reynolds model law Reynolds model law is applicable in ships okay you can see I have written here also applications so therefore this Reynolds model law you can use in this particular problem because there is ship is involved as well as viscosity is involved so therefore we can use the Reynolds model so according to Reynolds model law, according to Reynolds model law, okay. So Reynolds number of prototype should be equal to Reynolds number of model. So that is equal to rho V. So they have given length, so you can use L. So by mu of prototype is equal to rho V L by mu of model okay so now it is very simple okay so they have given all the given data here they have given everything here in this so you can just substitute all here so let me write uh, so rho p p p l p by mu p is equal to rho m v m l m by mu m so already we know, right? What is this? What is we call this? Rho by mu or mu by rho. What do you call this? Anyone? Anyone knows this relationship? What is the relation between this mu rho and there is one more parameter? What is that? Kinematic viscosity. Very good. So already we know that kinematic viscosity that is nu is equal to mu by rho so how do we know this formula okay therefore we can just replace with this kinematic viscosity so velocity of prototype length of prototype by nu that is so remember it is nu kinematic viscosity similarly velocity of model length of model kinematic viscosity of model 
okay so therefore you can see that we know all the things so velocity of model is 30 meter per second let me just substitute all the things so vp is equal to lp is how much 300 okay uh, by so kinematic viscosity of prototype 0 0.012 so no need to convert into actual si units because you can see that here we have uh, viscosity we have viscosity so, so this units will get cancelled out stokes stokes get cancelled out so no, no need to convert so 0 0.012 is equal to uh, velocity of model how much 30 length of model 3 and whereas uh, what is this uh, kinematic viscosity of model 0 0.018 so from this, you can find out for velocity of prototype. So what is the value you're getting? Anyone? So try to solve this and get me the answer. Six, six into 10 to the power of minus three. Mm -hmm. How much you're getting? No. Anyone? What is there any, 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 other, any other answer? Zero any, point. Zero point? Two. Yeah, this is the answer. Okay, so this is the velocity of sea water okay, in the uh, velocity of water ship in the sea water. Okay, so once you find out this velocity in the prototype, and it is very simple to find out now the remaining parameter. What is that? The resistance offered by the seawater. Okay, so how to find out that? So already we know that, so any movement, okay, so movement means it's, it's an inertia force. So movement, nothing but inertia force, that is F is equal to M into A. So this is called our resistance or called moment. So resistance to moment. So resistance to moment, inertia force. Okay. So therefore, uh, you can write F is equal to in the last class when we were discussing about the dimensionless numbers, we have converted this M into M A into another formula. What is that? Rho A V square. If you remember. Okay. In the last class, I have explained that. Okay, if you go back to that, I think, yeah. You can see that we have obtained this uh, inertia force, Fi is equal to M into A, that is equal to, what is that? Rho A V square, okay. So therefore, I'm directly writing here, M A is equal to Rho A V square, okay. So therefore, we can write prototype 